Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Trogdor. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope everyone's having a great day today because I definitely am. I've been playing Pokemon most of the day among other things and making videos. I usually do all of my recordings like in one day. So that's, you know, what I've been up to, but it's week six of the PTL. I did a team builder for this battle, which you should definitely go check out. I went over my team in depth and also my opponent's team and why it's probably the worst matchup of my life. So you may recall that his team is slow. Like his fastest thing is Victini. So half my team outspeeds everything. However, Celesteela is the bane of my existence. Celesteela, Swampert, Gudra, Florgis, Blissey, super tough for me to break through. Like, really, really tough. So I've got a lot of tricks that I need to, like, pull off flawlessly if I need this to go well, which I absolutely do need it to go well. I'm 3-2 and two right now, and I want to keep a winning record for this league because I do intend to do very well. Not just, you know, just keep it in the middle of the line, do it mediocre. I want to actually do really well, which I started out this season that way. And I want to keep going that way. So, but this is like a test week for me because it's like the worst matchup of my life, like I said. In my opinion, at least. On paper, it may not look the worst, but the type of team that he has is actually really tough for me to break. So, yeah, without further ado, let's actually get right into the battle. So, I was expecting Celesteela, Swampert, Florgis, Gudra, then Tyranitar, and Victini. I see four of those things here. I don't see Florgis or Gudra, which I'm very, very happy about. Because Florgis is super tough for me to break, and Gudra is just an annoying thing. However, Blissey is here, which that's going to be, like, disgusting for me to get through. And then there's Toxicroak, which I'm not worried about at all. I mean, I do have Pidgeot, I do have Rotom, I do have Weavile, all of those things outspeed it. It could be a Scarfer. Victini could be a Scarfer. Heck, even Swampert could be a Scarfer. I've even seen Scarf Celesteela before, so I gotta scout for that. As I discussed in my team builder, Rotom will be my lead. I can Volt Switch almost freely without the Swampert, but since he'll probably predict that, he can go into Swampert, and so I'm gonna go for HP Grass. If he does go for Swampert, he's probably gonna try to get up rocks, in which case, you guessed it, Rotom, HP Grass. So, I hope that works in my favor to get some momentum in my... Otherwise, uh, Lando looks actually really good here. After Victini goes for a move, I can scare it out with a sub. I can scare out Toxicroak, get up a sub. Gravity for the Celesteela. Steelix isn't looking super awful. I can get up rocks at some point. Um, Hitmonchan is actually vital for me this game. I need to donk the Tyranitar. I need to donk the Blissey. And I need to keep rocks, like, away from my side of the field. And without Gudra, Weavile's... Not super important, but I can low kick the Tyranitar. Unfortunately, low kick isn't hitting the Blissey super hard. And if the Vikini is not scarfed, which let's be real, it probably is, I can knock off. Like, I can spam knock off for free. That's really great. So yeah, let's, let's get on into it. I'm leading Rotom as he leads Swampert. And this is great for me because he's either scarfed and is going to go for a water move and take me out. Or he's not scarfed and I'm going to go for the HP Grass and donk him turn one. So, if he is Scarf, that's like a free switch to Hitmonchan or Pidgeot or, or, or yeah, Weavile can outspeed it for free. So, I'm clicking HP Grass and Swampert's gone. Best turn one of my life. So, I picked up some huge momentum there. Tyranitar comes in. I'm not staying in. I don't have great switches except for Hitmonchan. He reveals to actually be special. And even with the crit, that Fire Blast is doing nothing. I am a Salt Vest, of course. So, I can just spam my drain punch right here uh if he does decide to go for rocks i can spin it out i should be faster well actually no i'm i'm not i i'd have to be max speed to be faster than it i've only got like 20 speed investment i'm more bulky than anything but yeah hit my chan like i said is pretty crucial for me this game just gonna keep going so the sandstorm damage is like pretty tough Victini is a decent switch. I go for the Drain Punch. That's doing not a whole ton. Of course, it is a resisted hit, but that's looking not likely a super bulky Victini. I'm going to make a ballsy play and go for Steelix. He goes for U-Turn, so that's probably 
a scarf boy. Celesteela comes in, and I have SmackDown, which I'm going to go for right here. If it reveals to be sub Celesteela, that's pretty awful for me. Although, without Swampert on the battlefield, I can just spam Volt Switch. I can spam Thunderbolt. So, if he is not sub, though, and I go for the SmackDown right here, that's actually going to be fantastic for me. So, I'm going to reveal some of that spice. He goes for the Leech Seed. I smack him down, so he's got no switch into Earthquake right now. His best is probably the Blissey, because nothing else really wants to take a hit. So Blissey comes in, that's obviously max defense. I'm still doing, like, that's a 4-hit KO, which isn't great, but after Leech Seed, it's just, like, pretty bad for me. I, we're going to trade Rocks, which is alright, so... But that makes it an easy switch into Hitmonchan for me right here, as I'm going to go for my Rapid Spin. Fire Blast is not doing a whole bunch of damage right here. But did I say Rapid Spin? I am actually going for the Drain Punch right here, which I should have gone for Rapid Spin, but I do have Thunder Punch for the Celesteela, and I am able to outspeed it, so he can't stand versus me at all. Leech Seed, of course, comes up again. I I knew he was going to switch, but I decided to go for the Thunder Punch again. Um, Victini is actually... It was so close to... If I had gone for Rapid Spin right there, that would have been, like, the best day of my life. Victini still would have been, like, around the 50% range, but wouldn't have gotten the Leech Seed recovery. So, I'll be honest, I'm playing Hitmonchan kind of poorly right now. I should have gone for the Rapid Spin multiple times, especially when I was Leech Seeded, but the opportunity to KO the Celesteela was like right in front of my face, and I should have taken it, although, like, I've got Rotom, it's healthy. He's got no switch-ins for Thunderbolt, so... I... Even though the KO was like super in sight and I was super scared of the Celesteela, just kind of bad plan on my part. He's gonna V-Create and unfortunately take out my Hitmonchan. But this is a great opportunity for me to get into Mr. Man, the Landorus. But again, misplayed Hitmonchan really hard right there. And it's gone. Well, he's still got Blissey, Tyranitar, and Rocks. Which, yeah, unfortunately are up to stay at this point. But I've got a free sub for Mr. Man. As he's obviously going to switch out. Because even if he was Scarf, I do outspeed. But yeah, Blissey, that's annoying. Earth Power is like a 3-hit KO right here. I don't know if he'll be able to break my sub. But yeah, he's got Ice Beam. So I got to get out of town. Because I can't KO again with Earth Power. Steelix comes in. Fire Blast. That was a good prediction on his part. That pops my Oka Berry, which otherwise would have KO'd. But yeah, that's kind of unfortunate for me as I do get taken out. So, Victini is a problem for me now. Because it's probably Scarf because it revealed the U-turn right there. I just got to hope that it hits something with a V-Create and I'm able to bring Landorus back in. Because, or just go for the gravity right there, or the earth power, because his easiest switch is Celesteela now. Well, no, he's still got the Blissey, which, yeah, that's really tough for me to take down right now. Proven to be annoying. Weavile comes in, I want to knock this thing off really, really hard right here. But he goes into Celesteela, which I'm actually able to take this out. Which, Celesteela turned out to not be as big of a threat to my team as I thought it would be. Again, misplayed Hitmonchan really hard. I just wanted to go for the easy KO, but the switch was so obvious. I, I needed to get rid of those rocks really bad. But yeah, it is what it is. Celesteela is gone, so I'm really happy about that. Toxicro comes in as Rotom's an easy switch for me, but he actually goes for the Stone Edge and misses. So I'm sorry about that. I was kind of thinking in the back of my mind, like Rotom is basically death fodder for me at this point because the two things that it needed to take out are gone. But this is just an easy KO for Rotom now as I'm able to just over over yeet it and yeah it's gone. So Stone Edge definitely did matter. Rotom would have been gone and Toxicroak still would have been there but of course I would have gone into Pidgeot and yeah. But like I said it's basically death fodder for me at this point. None that that overheat miss did not matter at all because I'm yeah death fodder for Rotom. Because I died to rocks next turn, or next time I switch in anyway, and I, I'm going to go down to sand. So hopefully this Blissey will attack me, but yeah, Overheat's doing nothing. I'm at like minus infinity, so. But he gets a soft boiled, so Rotom's going to go down and Blissey's going to be at full health, which, you know, it is what it is. But I've got, I've got Weavile still. I can go for the knockoff really freely right now, get rid of its leftovers, which is super, super useful. He goes for another soft boiled, which yeah, this is super annoying. But now low kick's doing more damage than anything else. However, he is able to take me out with a fire blast. So, and my last two attackers are special. 
So, guess how this is going to turn out for me. <laughs> yeah, remember when I said I misplayed Hitmonchan hard? I'm looking back at it and it's like, why didn't I rapid spin? I could have gotten rid of those rocks. Weavile would have been so much healthier. Rotom would have not been super death fodder. And I would have still had Hitmonchan around to get rid of the Splissy, get rid of that Tyranitar. And it would have been easier for Landorus to clean up. So... It is what it is. I'm just going to hope that I can spam a few Hurricanes with Mega Pidgeot right here. Which, it's doing an, actually like a good amount of damage uh, for as fat as Blissey is. I just got to hope at this point that I get some Confusion Hacks, which I know it's unlikely and wishful thinking. But I, I do get it, and he's doing 1% of damage to himself. Which, yeah, so it's only because of that Confusion Hacks that Mega Pidgeot is able to take out the Blissey. Which, at this point, I'm thinking, oh, if his Victini is not Scarf, Landorus wins now, which is great. But, yeah. So, I managed to 1v1 the Blissey with my Pidgeot. It is now 2-2. Two and two. That Tyranitar is going to, like, eat me for breakfast easily. I go for the Hurricane right here. Uh, he, I do get Confusion again, but it's like... Uh, him not going into Victini right there makes me think that he is in fact choice scarf which that that seals the game because his best move versus me would have been the v create which would have gotten minus speed and then lander is cleaned up from there that or switch into rocks and after a turn of sandstorm damage it like goes down but i know sandstorm wasn't up at that point but the way that he's playing it makes me think that like yeah victini he's got victini in the back it bodies the rest of my team and even though i'm max speed lander i'm not going to do anything versus scarf and he needs to take out that Tyranitar to get just like the one turn of V-Create damage. So yeah, he's able to take me out. And Landers can come and I can get rid of the Tyranitar easily. That goes down, but yeah, he's got Victini in the back. He's got just enough HP to live the Stealth Rocks and Landorus goes down. So good game to my opponent. You're, it was like a turn of Sandstorm away from being like a 0-0 zero, zero win, which that would have been hilarious, but yeah. For the worst matchup of this entire season, winning by this, or losing by this margin was actually not that bad. I was just thinking to myself, like, no 6-0, please. Yeah, because, you know, the way that past battles have gone, it could have just been, like, switching between Celesteela, Swampert, Blissey, that... It, he could have just like tipped me down so hard and then cleaned up with Victini, but didn't go that way. I made a couple bad plays, especially like risking Steelix before the Victini was gone, risking Hitmonchan so hard the way I did. But yeah, I lose one out. I dropped to three and three, minus, minus two, minus three. So not the best in the world, but I'm still like middle of the pack. There are some people who are undefeated. There are some people who are winless at this point. So not the worst season of my life and the rest of the season i've got six more games and i've got amazing matchups for all of them so let's see how that goes so yeah good game to my opponent if you enjoyed this battle go ahead and toss a like on the video subscribe if you're new and comment down below if you got anything else to say always appreciate feedback even if it's just like trog your videos suck well yeah what do you expect when i've got like barely more than a dozen subs and only one day to actually produce videos so yeah that's all for me have a great day everyone i'll see everyone in the next video take care now bye bye